Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we are outside the church flip. So this is a house that we bought a while ago. We've been very slow lately flipping houses, and I'll talk about that some. But we bought a while ago. It used to be a church a long, long time ago. Um, was converted to a shop and then a house. And we bought it from a wholesaler last year. Uh, got a good deal, but it needed a lot of work. So we're finally making progress. It kind of sat here for a while. So we didn't know what to do with it. We didn't have people to work on it. But now you can see it's painted on the outside. It looks much better. And the inside has a lot of progress made as well too. So um, of course we love it when you like our videos, comment, share them. Love seeing new subscribers. So keep that coming. And investformore.com has a ton more information on my flips, rentals, be an agent, free articles, advice, a free book on there too if you're interested in seeing those. And it's kind of chilly out here. So let's go inside. <laughs> All right. Um, this used to be a church long, long, long time ago and just kind of one big open building, but it's been changed over the years and we'll show the before video link to it um, below, maybe splice in some of what it looked like before, but it was very chopped up and weird. It had like a garage in the back and we have changed a lot of that. So now you walk in and you have this pretty decent, large size living room. And this used to be a bedroom right here. Oh, and yes, this is also the murder house. I almost forgot. <laughs> we bought it. I found out at closing, or right before closing, someone had been killed right before we bought it. It was actually a son who's like 40 something years old who murdered his mom um, in a very sad situation. But we still ended up buying it. We'll disclose that even though we don't have to in Colorado, I still think it's a good idea. But yeah, it's weird. It had a, a bathroom in here shared with the furnace. We're gonna take that out and put our water heater in there. Hopefully have that situation a little better. And then back here, you literally had no kitchen. There's just kind of this room. And then there was a wall back there. Those doors are brand new. And you had a door to the outside. And you had another really, really, really funky bathroom. So we completely redid the bathroom. It had a shower. It wasn't usable. We tore that out, put it in the tub. Now we'll have a real size bathroom. And then this was where the garage was. So you had to get into this area through the back so we could close that off. We now have a closet, window, bedroom there. And we have another bedroom here with a closet, window, a floor, all the good stuff you want in a bedroom and not a garage. So before it was like a one bedroom with no kitchen. And then right here is where our, our kitchen will be. So we'll have a kitchen in here. And then I think we're just gonna try and fit a stackable washer and dryer in the kitchen somewhere because there's really no other place to put it. And um, to be fair, we kind of forgot about it until we designed everything. Like, oh yeah, we need a laundry room. So we'll try and find a spot for that in here too. So that's the inside, not a big house. We kind of tried to think about, you know, how can we make it a three bedroom? But every floor plan we came up with just left us with a tiny living room, a weird or a weird bedroom back here and no place for the kitchen. So I think this works out. It's just a two bedroom, but it's a much more functional two bedroom. And right now, if the prices are where they are, uh, we should be just fine. We paid 165,000 for this. And I mean, it might be worth close to 300,000 once we're done with it. We need to clean up some stuff out here still. Still some things going on. And then it's got carport, got another garage back there. And then we had to get a new propane tank. And the propane tank, the propane tank was much bigger than the old one. So they just kind of threw off our uh, propane house that was on top of it. So need to clean that up too. So a few things. Out here still, you can see that's kind of where the garage was before. It wasn't even, it's kind of like a one big swinging garage door. Patch that in and that's the house. So we should be really close to actually getting this done once we get the kitchen in and the bathroom done. But it's a, an interesting one, that's for sure. <laughs> and hopefully it'll sell pretty quick, has a nice size lot, has a nice garage. It'll all be redone and um, just have to find somebody that isn't bothered by someone passing away in a house because, I mean, that does happen in old houses a lot, but 
this is a pretty tricky situation where it was an actual murder, not just like someone dying of old age or something else like that. All right, that's the house. We'll have more updates, of course, on it as we get going. We do need to do a little bit of electrical work here still, um, some other minor stuff. But for the most part, making a ton of progress. And I think in here, we're just doing carpet, if you're wondering what flooring we're doing in here. And the floor is a little bit slopey, so it's tough to make the click and lock work perfect. Um, sometimes we still do carpet and some things. Try to avoid it, but in some cases it works out well. All right, we love the likes, love the shares, love the comments. Keep those coming. Um, like I said, check out investformore.com if you want much more information on our how to do real estate investing, be an agent, even run a business now. We have a lot of that going on. And yeah, I was saying before, we've kind of slowed down doing some of our flips because we've had so much going on with the liquor store, the mini mart, the bar, other businesses and rental properties we've had. We've had to devote some rehabs and rehab um, resources to those projects instead of just the flips. So, all right, thanks for watching. Love your support. We'll be back soon.